Hello and welcome to the latest My Bradford vlog. My name's Jen, I'm the producer, and I'm just updating you as to what the My Bradford project has been doing for the last couple of weeks. Now, we start here in Heaton uh, with my snazzy rain mark and hat. It's a pretty grim day here. So before we get telling you what we're doing here, let's rewind and catch up with what we've been doing in the last couple of weeks. So last week we kicked off at Kirkgate Market and inside there there's a really cool art project called Were Bradford which is getting people to share their stories right in the heart of the market in a stall. We also had a visit to Ask and Brian College which is this really cool agricultural college and they've got all kinds of animals within this old Victorian orphanage and you'd never even know it was there it's right in the heart of Bradford city centre and I do believe the BBC Leeds mid-morning team are following this up so watch this space at the weekend of course it was the Bradford Literature Festival where I hosted a couple of sessions on digital storytelling this was one of the groups I worked with on the morning which brings us here to Heaton. Now at the start of the week we came here to speak to the Shah family who are doing a video with the My Bradford project about the Wondish group. Now I don't want to reveal too much but just keep your eyes on this space for more information coming. It's really really interesting. We also stopped off here on Thornton Road at Pennine Cycles where we met the lovely Sandra Kukaran and we were doing some training and a little bit of video editing. Of course if you want to get involved you can email me mybradford at bbc.co.uk and I can teach you how to make little mini movies on your mobile phone. And on Thursday we came here to Bowling Street to one of West Yorkshire's oldest synagogues. Now although from the outside, if I just pan round, it might look like it's being done up, there's a lot of chipboard. Check out the views from inside. And finally, you meet us here at the Bradford Police Museum, where I've just shown the team who work here a little film that they've created with the My Bradford Project, which will be going up on the site in the next couple of days. Now, before I go, I just want to bring on the Star Woman of the Week. This is Kate Anstis, and she's been doing work experience with the My Bradford Project. She's come to Bradford all the way from New Zealand. So, what have you made of it all then? Oh, it's been a great week, Jenny. I love Bradford and I love that we've been to so many places I wouldn't have seen otherwise and met some amazing people. So, thank you. And what are you going to take back? Yeah. To the land of NZ. <laughs> well, I've created a great fondness for the city. And so now your Bradford has become my Bradford. Oh, you see what she did there? <laughs> thank you ever so much and we'll see you next time.